Here we go. Yup. Here we go. Here we go. Where we going? Shit, I don't know. Look. Here we go. I'm talking to you, so here we go. Yeah, I walk. This road, baby girl, I walk. What's up, guys? My name is Dave Mate, founder of Circle of Drink, international Yerba Mate community. Uh, the snow is melting. We're here in New York, just enjoying the beautiful, beautiful winter weather. I don't know about you guys, but I like the cold, actually. I like the winter. I don't know. What does that say about me? I have a warm heart, though. Salud. Today, I am introducing something very special, very magical. This is called the Lignum Chalice. I'm drinking out of one right here. Beautiful gourd, handcrafted. When I designed this gourd, I thought about creating a gourd that was large. I know a lot of you guys want a nice size gourd. This gourd can actually hold up to 100 to 150 grams of mate if you wanted to, if you dared to put that much in there. You don't have to. You could use the normal amount, which is about 25 grams to about 50 grams. Let's try this thing out again. This gourd is huge, but as you can see, it's still very manageable, extremely manageable. It's made from the hardest wood in the world called Lignum Vitae. Uh, it grows in Jamaica, in the Caribbean. It's actually the national tree of Jamaica. Uh, we selected some trees that have fallen naturally from the forest uh, and had them hand carved from our own little factory in Jamaica. These gourds are very special. I want to show you them close up so you can see what we're dealing with. Salud. All right, guys, let me just show you a few of these gourds. Very beautiful, 100% handcrafted. These gourds are really just a work of art made from lignum vitae, the hardest wood in the world, the most dense wood in the world, only grows in the Caribbeans. This thing is just really, really butter smooth. Every part of this gourd is very, very nice. It's well crafted. If you take care of it, this gourd will last you a lifetime. Gorgeous. Now one thing to take note of is that you want to let this gourd fully cure and it takes several months. So as this gourd dries, you might see some sort of marbling effects, some sort of hairline cracking that's taking place around this region. Don't worry about it. That's actually very normal to see these little slight cracks in here because as the wood dries, it begins to stretch a little bit and expand, which results in a actually hardening of the wood uh, as long as there's no leaking, this gourd will last you a lifetime. This will be an heirloom product that you pass down to your children and your grandchildren because that's how long this thing will last. Very beautiful gourd. Like I said, this is a work of art. You will see a little, you know, a few hairline cracks here and there. Don't worry about it. That's actually normal. Let me show you another one. Here's another one. They come in all different colors. You know, they will be selected at random, so you can't select a color. But you just get to see the natural effect of the grain. They, each grain is different on each gourd. Nobody's gourd will be exactly the same as the others. You can hold a lot of sherpa in here. Beautiful. As you see, this one's predominantly reddish, brown. Got some black streaking in there. Beautiful gourd. Let's grab another. Look at this one. This one was made with the sapwood, the outer layer rings of the actual tree, which result in this sort of palish hue, yellow hue. Very beautiful gourd. Nice circle of drink logo burned in there. Just every aspect of this gourd is beautiful. This is a work of art. You could put this thing on your table and just leave it if you want. You don't even have to drink a mate out of this. But if you do drink mate out of this, you're going to have a great experience. Beautiful gourd. Nobody else is making gourds like this anywhere. Let's grab another. Here's another one that's just amazing. You can see the natural marbling effect of the layers. The swirls of this grain. Incredible. You can see some blue, green brown, black, some red, 
Really nice gourd. A lot of capacity. You could have some amazing circles with these things. And here's another version of a lighter colored one. This is just a natural grain of the wood. Smooth as butter. Beautiful piece of art. Handcrafted in Jamaica. I designed these gourds personally myself. These are large gourds. They're about five inches in height. Beautiful. So come on over to circleofdrink.com. Click on the button Lignum Chalice. Or just click on Gourds or Mate Kits and you'll eventually find these guys. Beautiful. So guys, I hope you like the Lignum Chalice. This is our latest gourd. Uh, the Lignum Original was the one that came before this. We'll be bringing that back in a couple weeks. But right now, uh, the name of the game is Lignum Chalice. We love it. We're happy with it. And for those of you that don't know what Yerba Mate is, this is an ancient herb that derives from South America, the Amazonian rainforest, from regions in Paraguay, regions in, in uh, Argentina, southern Brazil, and even parts of Uruguay and Bolivia. This is a powerful plant that you could drink the traditional way out of a gourd such as this one, put the herb in here, then you use a metal straw with a filter at the end, you insert that, and you just drink like this. Delicious. You're drinking liquid health. This is a great alternative to coffee. Uh, it doesn't give you the jitters, but it opens up your mind, opens up your heart, gives you creative clarity, just makes you razor sharp, focused, concentration, whatever you're doing in your life. Mate will help you. Go do the research yourself. There's tons of research on the internet. You will find out that this is a miracle herb. Uh, I'm sitting here drinking it the traditional way, but you can make it out of a French press, you can make it out of a teapot, you can make it out of a uh, herb infuser, whatever way you want to make it. Just don't boil the water, make the water very hot, but don't boil it. Uh, if you want to drink it traditional way, the way that it's been drunk for thousands of years, check out circleofdrink.com, that's our website, where you could get one of these lignum chalice scores. There's only going to be a few sold. Uh, over the next two weeks, three weeks or so, so get one while you can. Uh, thanks a lot, guys. My name is Dave Monte, founder of Circle of Drink. Check us out on Facebook. Just type in Circle of Drink and find our groups. And we do have uh, online circles where we just basically get together. doesn't matter where you are in the world. We use a program called Google Hangouts, and we make Monte, drink Monte, talk about Monte, talk about life, talk about philosophy, talk about art, science, things that interest us. And we do that about once a week or so. So make sure to sign up for our group on Facebook so you could get the schedule. We're having one tomorrow, actually, 5 p.m. So thanks a lot, guys. My name is Dave Mate. Take it easy. This is the Lignum Chalice. I hope you like it. This is a work of art. We worked very hard on it. And it'll last you a long time, as long as you take care of it. Just remember, give it about a day's rest after each full day of use for the first six months to allow it to fully cure and if you do notice a little bit of cracking, a little bit of uh, hairline cracks on the side or the bottom, don't worry about it. That's totally normal. That's just a part of the drying process of this wood. Thanks, guys. Take it easy. Peace.